Looking to top up your velocity point balance or just gotten into the program but not sure where to start? Here are five great ways to earn velocity points on everyday spending and you don't even have to fly. Number one, flybys. In Australia, both our major grocery retailers offer frequent flyer points on everyday spending. If you're looking to earn velocity points, you want to shop at Coles and anywhere that uses flybys. I love this program because not only can you earn on everyday grocery shopping at Coles, you also earn points at places like Kmart or Bunnings. It comes in really handy if you're renovating or redecorating your house. Every time you scan your flybys card during a shop, you will earn one flybys point per dollar spent at the checkout. There are usually bonus points assigned to specific products as well, which change from week to week. You can check and activate those in the Flybys app before heading to the shops. Once you earn a thousand Flybys points, you can exchange them for 500 Velocity points on the Flybys website. You can set this to automatically transfer, but don't do that just yet. Flybys will occasionally run timed promotions offering additional Velocity points for transferring manually or setting up automatic transfer for the first time. So I'd suggest to holding off making it automatic for now and instead signing up to our newsletter at the link in the description. We'll let you know when the bonus point promotion is on and if it's actually worth doing. Bonus tip, keep an eye out for weekly deals on gift cards. These will often be sold with a 20 times point bonus or a flat bonus such as 4,000 points. For example, if you buy $1,000 worth of Uber gift cards while they are on a 20 times points promotion, you will earn 20,000 flybys, which you can then transfer for 10,000 velocity points. This would be a perfect way to double dip on points if you use Uber frequently. There's usually some terms and conditions which exclude certain denominations of gift cards and some might even come with an activation fee. So definitely read the fine print first. Number two, speaking of Uber, there are heaps of ways to earn points while traveling by car, including ride shares, fuel and vehicle hire. First off, fuel up at 7-Eleven. Simply scan your Velocity card or Velocity-linked 7-Eleven app to earn one point per litre of fuel or two points per litre of premium fuel. You'll receive two points per dollar spent on other items in store too, and there are up to 750 bonus points on offer just for signing up and making your first purchase. If you're a little freak like me and actually love 7-Eleven's cheap coffee, this daily purchase could earn you four or more points per day. It's not heaps, but it certainly adds up. If you're taking ride shares, consider using DD. You receive one point for every dollar spent on rides. You can also currently earn a thousand Velocity points just for signing up and linking your Velocity account. If you need a hire car, Velocity Frequent Flyer partners with Europe Car, Hertz, Sixth, Dollar and Thrifty. Rates start from three Velocity points per one dollar spent within Australia and New Zealand, and it scales up if you hold status with Virgin Australia. Most overseas rentals outside of Australia and New Zealand offer a flat amount of points per purchase. Again, the earn rate is higher based on your Velocity Frequent Flyer status. And for car sharing rentals, FlexiCar offers two points per dollar spent on rentals and again scales depending on your status. Number three, need somewhere to stay once you arrive at your destination? Book through Rocket Travel to earn at least three Velocity points per one dollar on accommodation. During promotions, you could even earn up to quadruple points. That's 12 Velocity points per one dollar. Alternatively, you could directly earn Velocity points when booking through your favorite chains, such as IHG or Shangri-La. Or if you'd rather earn points towards a participating hotel loyalty program, any of these programs allow you to transfer to Velocity at varying rates. And for those who prefer their accommodation on the ocean? Cruise Pilot also offers three points per dollar spent, and again, scales up depending on your Virgin status. Number four, services and utilities. Virgin doesn't have an empire of financial products like Qantas, but there is still one way to earn points on health insurance with Medibank. Join and maintain an eligible Medibank hospital and extras cover and earn up to 80,000 Velocity points. Medibank currently offers 15,000 Velocity points for new pet insurance customers too. An energy plan with AGL is another way to nab 20,000 Velocity points on utilities. New and moving customers can get 10,000 points for electricity, 5,000 points for gas, and 5,000 bonus points when they stay on the plan for 12 months. These are all likely to change over time, so definitely check out the Velocity Frequent Flyer website for the latest bonus point offers. Whether or not these products are right for your particular circumstances shouldn't totally be dependent on the points. They are bonus points after all. Definitely check your options first and only get these if they suit your needs. Finally, the big one, credit cards. Now these are arguably one of the most important weapons in a point hacker's arsenal. Not only because they can earn you heaps of points when you sign up, they also provide ongoing value on everyday spend. 
Many of these cards earn a number of velocity points per dollar spent too, which means if you use them on the other point earners I mentioned, such as Coles or 7-Eleven, you'll double dip on every dollar spent. For example, a credit card with an earn rate of one velocity point per dollar will turn a thousand dollars worth of premium fuel, so like one tank, into 3,000 velocity points when purchasing it at 7-Eleven. Not too shabby. Now I'm not a financial advisor, so definitely make sure these cards are suitable for you before taking one out. But thankfully we have plenty of guides to all of the latest velocity point earning credit cards over at pointhacks.com.au. You can find a link in the description and these will take you over everything, including fees, benefits, and all of the fine print. To see the latest velocity point earning credit cards with sizable points bonuses and other perks, there's a link in the description, along with links to further information on every tip I've mentioned in this video. I personally love all of these tips and make use of them all as a point hacker, but if I had to pick a favorite, it would be flybys. And I definitely think if you don't have a flybys already, look, everyone's asking you if you've got it, just get one because you'll earn a bunch of velocity points in the process. If you want to get started, check out this video here and happy point hacking.